All right, cool, cool. All right, Melo and Russell Westbrook do their pregame ritual, and we're off. Houston Rockets taking on Oklahoma City Thunder. Listen, the Thunder are running out of opportunities to get big wins. They're at home. You got to win this game. They're the seventh seed right now in the Western Conference playoff picture, tied uh, with, with the Clippers, who are nine in the loss column. So this team could very well be out of the playoffs. Oh, good block. That Houston's good block. It'll be crazy if the OKC Thunder don't make the playoffs. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Thunder don't make the playoffs with the talent they got and the MVP. Speaking of MVP, it's Russ. Like I said, I just think he's one of those phenomenal talents that can't play well with others. He just doesn't play good with other people. Hard. Capella. Jam session is good. CP3. For three. Okay. We got one here. Good game. Carmelo Anthony. Stopping. Popping. Okay, see up or uh, down one. Now they're up one. Pick and roll, Carmelo Anthony and Russ. PG gets going on the screen. I've said this since day one. I think this Oklahoma City Thunder team is at its best when the ball is in Paul George's hands. Now, Russ is the most dangerous guy on the court, but I don't think that means wins. It does not translate into victories. Oh, my goodness. James Harden, nice crossover. Houston currently holds the best record in the NBA, followed by Golden State. Houston's won 15 games in a row, man. They've had, like, what, two, three double-digit winning streaks this season? They, they just ain't lost a lot of games. I'm just be honest with you. Oh, a little flop there from, from Paul George, maybe. Harden drills the three. All right, Houston back on top now. We at the end of the first. It's 23-21. Felton getting into the lane. I thought I thought he's been a good addition off the for the bench for uh, the, the Thunder this year. After Corey Brewer, another new addition. Uh, the Lakers let him go. Speaking of new additions, Joe Green, like in his second month with the Houston Rockets, he's been pretty productive. Houston up two. Ooh, Corey Brewer, another three. Yo, they're, they're liking Corey Brewer off that bench. They had a roster spot to fill, had a couple injuries. Carmelo was out a couple games. Obviously, Roberson's out for the year. Brewer's going to fit in fine. Raymond Felton for three. Like I said, if this Thunder team stays at seven, they're in a first-round matchup against the Golden State Warriors, and I think that's where they want to be. I don't think this Thunder team could beat a lot of teams in the Western Conference playoffs in the first round. Like, I think the Spurs would probably sweep them. I, I think the Rockets would beat them in five or six. But here's my opinion. This team could probably beat Golden State still. This team's lineup is suited to beat Golden Oh, what a nice floater by Trevor Reeves. They can beat Golden State. You mark my words on that one. You got guys like Melo who ain't scared of Kevin Durant. I'm telling you, this team is suited to beat a team like Golden State. Now, they're going to have problems with teams because they don't wake up every night. That's this team's problem. They'll wake up for a game like this, but they're losing random games in Detroit and random games in, against the Hawks. The facts. 40-34. Harden. Nice pick and roll here. The ball going to end up in the hands of Trevor Ariza having a good game. So, so Thunder down 11 at home. This is not good. PG to Melo. But, but like when you give up shots like that, that doesn't change anything defensively for me. Melo didn't break anything down. He just made a two. Nice three from. You see what I'm saying? When, when the when the Rockets are scoring, Harden is making you reconsider your defense. He's getting into the lane, making plays. Now you got to defend Harden another way. When Melo just drills a pull up two. Your defense doesn't have to change. So look at this. Melo's going to drill this three. He just walked into one. If I'm a defense, I'm fine with that. That That's why they don't win games. I might have to do a video on that. PG. Melo. Oh, goodness grief. Two points. Nevertheless. Hard. Oh, yes. Those two count. Okay. Paul George for two. Harden. Tucker. 
Trevor Reza for three. Chris Paul's having a very quiet game. His team's up 10 points. You got the MVP of the league. Uh, PG to Melo. This thing Melo's making a lot of tough shots, man. It's just not going to change anything for me defensively. Houston's, oh, wow. Banker. Okay. Thunder shooting the ball with confidence. Oh, good pass from PG to Adams. We have a three-point game, ladies and gentlemen. Tucker over the heart. Man, and, and really, to be honest with you, the Thunder are lucky because Chris Paul nor Eric Gordon didn't got off yet. Oh, wow. Really, Harden just been destroying them and making plays. That's pretty much what it's been, man. Harden, another assist to Capella. What do we have here, man? I want to check out the stats for this game real quick while we're in the third. It's Harden to Chris Paul. Bang. Now CP3 starting to get into the action. More Houston. Eric Gordon. I just told you about these guys that can light it up. Other end now. Westbrook. What can you do to keep your team in this game? Might have got away with a push off there. Well, I'm fine with it not being called. I'm fine with that. Okay. It's an 11-point game now. Chris Paul. This is a deep three. Wow. Look at the frustration on this on this. Thunder team, I'm watching Corey Brewer, a new guy, look defeated. Chris Paul. Oh, the mismatch with Adams. Oh, he's going to get to Gerald Green. They just shoot entirely too many. They make entirely too many threes. 14-point game. This team, this Houston Rockets team looks hungry, man. Oh, another three. It's a 17-point game. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Brewer down the lane. He dunks it home for two. Seven, it's a 17-point game, man. Can the Thunder make a run? Here we go. Three-pointer. Raymond Felton. We got eight minutes to go. The Thunder are down 14. Here's a bad turnover, man. Oh, it's Chris Paul. Oh, down low. What a pass. They're just moving that basketball. Chris Paul had 25 points, five assists. James Harden had 23 points, 11 assists, five rebounds. And he really impacted this game. Oh, what a miss right there. Felt 10 to follow. Russ had 32 and 7. PG had 17 and 5. Melo had 23 and 4. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. I don't want to spoil the tease, but it's not happening for the OKC Thunder in this game. Eric Gordon for three. It's a 19 point game, ladies and gentlemen. The Houston Rockets are going to be a one or two seed. The Thunder don't know if they're going to be in the playoffs or not. And this is the effort they're giving. I can't blame it on Russell Westbrook. He always gives it. PG gives it most of the time. 14-point game. 16-point game. PG. Grant. Don't love that shot, but hey, it fell. 14-point game. Adams. Grant, back to Adams. This team has entirely too much talent, man. 13-point game. And I don't understand why this team doesn't work out. I don't get it. My only thing is to say the best player has to be better than this. Oh, man. PG, nice up fake, but nine-point game is too late. The Rockets don't miss free throws. They got James Harden and, and Chris Paul. And ladies and gentlemen, the Thunder are going to suffer a defeat 122-112. This is not good, ladies and gentlemen. They, I mean, they gave them that. They just protected the three-point line. Wow. Rockets take a command in first place lead. They might win the West. I, and I know the Warriors have gotten hot. The Rockets are half game up on the wet, on the Warriors right now. They don't lose a lot of games. They're on a, a 16 straight game winning streak, and nine of those have been on the road. Impressive. Rockets win. Bad loss for the Thunder. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.